now we'll discuss uh, the relationship between uh, DTFT and uh, is a transfer so from uh, DTFT uh, sorry uh, we can calculate DTFT from is a transfer there is a relationship between uh, DTFT and is a transfer uh, uh, now we'll see how we can calculate DTFT from the is a transfer so I'll write uh, the is a transfer equation first so x of is a is defined as sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z raised to minus n. So this is the general formula for uh, calculating uh, z transform where z is defined as r e raised to j omega and if you substitute uh, x of z is equal to uh, or x of z at z is equal to e raised to g omega if we substitute z is equal to e raised to g omega uh, the equation becomes sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into instead of z you will substitute uh, instead of z you will substitute e raised to g omega now we will get uh, it becomes e raised to j omega the whole raised to n minus n so you will get e raised to minus n so which is equal to x of e raised to j omega so if you evaluate uh, x of z is it is equal to e raised to j omega when is it is equal to e raised to j omega or if you sum simply substitute is it is equal to e raised to j omega you will get dtft so this is the relationship between uh, x of z and x of e raised to j omega or in other words you can say that uh, if you evaluate uh, x of z on a unit circle uh, means if you choose uh, r is equal to 1 and modulus of r is equal to 1 that is known as uh, x of e raised to j omega so in the z plane uh, so this is a z plane uh, this is a z plane and you can say this is 1 and if there is a circle with radius 1 means like this so modulus of r is equal to 1 and if you evaluate uh, x of z on a unit circle you will get x of e raised to omega or in other words you can say you need to substitute z is equal to e raised to g omega where z is equal to r e raised to g omega either you can say r is equal to 1 or you can simply say that is it is equal to e raised to omega you will get dtft now we will see uh, the other case also uh, how we will get is a transform from dtft actually the dtft or is a transform is a modified version of dtft we will see how we can relate these two now we can see uh, the general formula for x of e raised to g omega x of e raised to g omega is equal to sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into e raised to minus j omega n and there is a condition uh, to evaluate this that is known as uh, the signal x of n that is n is equal to minus infinity to infinity uh, modulus of x of n should be less than infinity this is the condition to evaluate uh, this x of e raised to j omega uh, are absolutely summable and if it is not satisfied uh, transform does not exist so we'll see uh, one uh, simple example uh, if there is a signal uh, in this form uh, 1 by 2 raised to n into e of n if you take this signal and if you find uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n into e of n this is absolutely summable so you will get the final answer is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 so we will get the answer but the situation is different uh, if you take the signal 2 raised to n into e of n because uh, if you substitute n is equal to 0 here it becomes uh, or if you evaluate this from n is equal to minus infinity to infinity you can see that uh, you need to substitute n is equal to 0 you will get 2 raised to 0 uh, 2 raised to 1 2 square etc etc so finally you will get infinity so 
we cannot find uh, is not converging uh, not converging so we cannot find DTFT so it's not possible to calculate the DTFT of the signal because uh, it's not converging so here I can do uh, one thing I can multiply the signal uh, 2 raised to n into u of n by a constant uh, by a term r raised to minus n so I am now I am multiplying with the signal with a new term r raised to minus n so now we can see that the signal becomes uh, 2 by r the whole raised to n into u of n if you look at the signal if the value of r if the value of r is greater than 2 if the value of r is greater than 2 uh, the entire term uh, so this term uh, becomes less than 1 if you choose r is greater than 2 so then the signal is converging means I can now I can find the DTFT of the signal so this is a signal actually there is a signal x of n and now I am multiplying the signal with r raised to minus n so this is our new signal ok already there is a signal x of n and now I am multiplying with r raised to minus n so I will take a case uh, now I am going to find the DTFT of the signal uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n and I am multiplying that signal with r raised to minus n and now I am going to find out the DTFT that is e raised to minus j omega n if you compare the equation uh, already there is a signal x of n which is not converging so I will multiply the signal with r raised to minus n ok and now I am going to find the DTFT so this is the modified equation so if you rearrange this equation you will get uh, sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity uh, x of n I can group these two terms r and e raised to g minus uh, r e raised to g omega so I can write like this uh, r e raised to j omega the whole raised to minus n ok and if you put this r e raised to g omega here is a term r e raised to g omega if you substitute a constant uh, z is equal to r e raised to j omega your equation becomes sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n instead of r e raised to j omega I'll substitute n sorry z then z raised to minus n so this equation actually the modified version of DTFT ok this is the DTFT equation now we are modifying this DTFT equation by multiplying r raised to minus n and now after that we are calculating the DTFT so we got the final equation so which is equal to your Z transform so I can say uh, Z transform as a modified version of DTFT ok again there is a restriction that uh, if the r value in this particular case is 2 by r if you if you are choosing r value less than 2 again it not converge if the r value is greater than 2 you will get a value which is less than 1 so you can apply the limit summation result and signal converges but if you choose a value less than uh, in this particular example if you choose a r value which is less than 2 uh, this condition violates so again not converging so we cannot evaluate a transform so that is actually known as the ROC concept so ROC or region of convergence is depends on the values of R ok so this is the relationship between uh, DTFT and